The following is an ESG video brief. Tape is not a four-letter word. In general, I'm not a fan of any of the more colorful four-letter words in the English vernacular, but I am a fan of tape. Modern tape, that is. Hi, my name is Jason Buffington. I'm a principal analyst with the Enterprise Strategy Group. When ESG published its 2016 IT Spending Intentions Report, we found reducing costs to be among the top business drivers that were affecting IT strategy. We looked at the actual IT solution scenarios that folks were prioritizing in 2016. We found that managing storage growth and improving data backup were among the top five. ESG is currently seeing primary storage grow around 25% year over year, and secondary storage, the stuff you use for things like backup and archive and BCDR, growing around 35% year over year, while your budgets are growing between 4 to 6% a year or less. So how do you do that? How do you deal with increasingly unsustainable storage growth while actually reducing costs and not just growing incrementally? You change a cost model. And for many folks, that means rediscovering tape. When ESG looked at how folks were doing backup, one of the main causes of data growth, over half of all organizations use tape today. The larger the organization, the more likely that the organization is dealing with that unsustainable storage growth versus pressure to reduce cost problem. Tape literally makes sense and sense, pun intended, that both an operational and an economic view particularly for long-term data retention, archiving, and even portable cold storage. If you believe the marketing folks from some IT vendors, they'll tell you that tape is dead. Another four-letter word I'm not fond of. Because they say that tape is slow. They say tape is unreliable. They say tape is expensive to maintain. I emphasize that because the tape of 20 years ago, like anything else in IT that's two decades old, isn't nearly as good as what we have today. So with that in mind, ESG took a fresh look at one example of modern tape, LTO, and in particular, the latest generation in the market today, LTO 7. Now, some folks want to talk about tapes being slow. When ESG did our own testing of LTO drives and cartridges, we found that many servers, including backup and archiving media platforms, would have a hard time sustaining a data stream to a tape drive at full speed at over 300 megabytes per second native. That's without compression. Just looking at some of the other common media type in market, the impressive speed of LTO is not new to LTO 7, it's just underappreciated. Some folks want to talk about tape cartridges being unreliable. ESG looked at error rates of modern tape cartridges and found something interesting. It is more likely that you'll win the lottery, or you'll be struck by lightning, or you'll be bitten by a shark before you'll see a bad bit on a modern LTO cartridge. You can check out both of those findings and other insights from the ESG lab from our website. Here's one more FUD that we should dispel, the, the conjecture that tape is not cost effective. According to ESG's economic modeling, we found that in a typical large scale data retention usage scenario, tape solutions could yield nearly 13.5 million in estimated cost savings over a 10 year period versus a disk exclusive solution. That's an ROI of 577% over 10 years. The annual TCO for a tape solution generates a significant 85% savings compared to an all disk solution. Like most TCO ROI models, your mileage will vary. But if modern tape can get you anywhere close to those numbers, isn't it worth taking a look? There are some folks that want to talk about cloud as an alternative to tape for disk protection storage. So let's be clear, cloud is a good target for data protection if you're going to combine cloud storage and cloud compute for things like BCDR, for analytics reporting, meaning that you're going to do something with it more than just let it sit there for a very extended period of time. Cloud-based data protection solutions are also really good for endpoints and for remote offices. The value of cloud is in the potential agility scenarios. It's not simply in the lowest dollars per gigabyte. In fact, one of the newer, more interesting trends is to look at how the hyperscale or regional cloud providers continue to try to reduce their storage costs in order to be more appealing to subscribers. You know what they're doing to do that? Yeah, tape as a cloud tier behind the scenes. 
As I mentioned, ESG did some economic modeling on tape, disk, and cloud scenarios in an economic report which is hosted on the LTO website. ESG has also covered several vendors' specific tape offerings, from cartridges to drives to libraries to even management and vaulting services. And we continue to see what organizations of all sizes with all kinds of data retention mandates have found. That modern tape absolutely has a place in almost every data protection or data retention strategy. There's a reason why your car's rear view mirror is so much smaller than your windshield. Don't look in the past to determine where you need to go in life or in, in storage. Look to the future. And for many folks, the future will, or should, include modern tape. I'm Jason Buffington for ESG. Thanks for watching.